I am face to face with the most dangerous animal on the planet. This is the mosquito and it spreads a long list of really nasty diseases and right at the top is malaria. According to the latest figures, 600,000 people died from the disease in 2023, most of them in Africa and three quarters of them were children under the age of five. I'm in Imperial College and they're in Sectary where they have tens of thousands of mosquitoes and I can tell you the temperature in here is tropical and just in case there are any releases from the cages, they have a good old fly swat. Nothing like that to control the population. But the point here is that they're trying to find a new way of dealing with malaria. In the old days, they tried insecticides, they tried bed nets, drugs, vaccines, but they're only partially effective. What they're doing here in all these cages is working out a way of bringing in new genes, one from a frog and one from a honeybean, for example. And these express toxins. Um, which target the malaria parasite inside the mosquito and it's the parasite that causes the disease when the female mosquito bites us for blood she injects the parasite and that causes malaria but if they can stop the malaria parasite developing that means that the population is malaria free there's another trick that they're using they're pushing this gene through the population so all the offspring of the mosquitoes also have this genetic trait and that means you can change a whole population very very quickly perhaps as quickly as 20 generations in a confined setting uh, like this lab it's untested out in the wild they're being very cautious they want to make sure there's no unintended consequence that would cause harm in the wider environment but it is exciting research that the head team here is doing in collaboration with scientists in Tanzania